What the blooming hell was that? Put it in me. You know what? I'm done. I'm done, you know? I, I, no, I'm leaving. That's it. That's it. I'm done. See ya. Buenos dias or buenas noches. It is your favorite Blanco Latino, and I am warning you right now that I am going to get very angry. So if you're the type that doesn't like to see any anger or shouting or anything like that, and I know some people who are definitely sensitive to that, I recommend you leave this video immediately. Everyone else who wants to enjoy my suffering and my rageful hatred towards this fucking game. We're going to be giving you a deep look at all the exciting new content that you have coming to the game very, very shortly. Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Welcome. I didn't want to make a rage video immediately after the DLC came out. I just want to see what everyone else thinks. And it seems like I'm on the same boat as everyone else. This DLC sucks. And I thought maybe if I have a calmer video explaining why it sucks, if I just wait maybe a couple weeks, then I should be calm enough to make this kind of video. But now just thinking about it again, piss me the fuck off. And you know what the tipping point was? For me to lose my shit, it was a little bug that happened during a mission where I just wanted to get some extra footage playing as Joker for the video. And then when that moment happened, I just quit the game and uninstall it. Dude, what the? This guy's stuck. I can't destroy the last crystal because of him. He's stuck. I can't kill him. I can't kill him. That's so dumb. The mission is bugged because of Harley's stupid drone. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do the mission. This is dumb. Yep, game's fixed. Game's fucking fixed. This doesn't work that way! I am done with this game. Those of you who joined my live stream reacting to the Joker DLC for the first time and played them out for the first time, thank you. I really do appreciate you guys, love you guys so much, and I hope to see you more in my live streams. Oh yeah, by the way, I do live stream. I'm going to try live stream a lot more, so please check it out if you have the time. So those of you who wanted me to make another Suicide Squad video, here it is. But this is the last time I'm going to talk about this game. The next time I'm going to talk about it is either Deathstroke coming out, which we'll get to that later. And also when they announce that the game is shutting down. And I'm going to be the first one there to freaking bring out the tequilas, bring out the vodkas, all the kinds of drinks for us to party on all night long. Because this game is dead. Honest to God, this game is dead. There's no sugar coating it. Nothing like that. Everyone, including myself, is saying that this game is trash. And now people who actually did like this game is turning against it because how shit the DLC was. And then you got the people who still defend this game. Have fun dying on that hill. You can't defend this. The battle pass was one of the worst battle passes I've ever seen in my life. Nothing but trash and the skins were just ugly and shit. Premium. Okay, what is this? Wayne Tech. Yeah, she looks all right. Stuck at the moment. Okay, whatever. Show pony, emote, who cares? Banner, who cares? Lo Luther coin, who fucking cares? Voice lines. Uh, like, I want to hear more of these idiots. What's sarcastic? What's King Shark? The taste of failure. I enjoy it. Oh god. Okay. What's this? Bat? Who fucking cares? Wayne Tech. Who cares? <laughs> that costume looked awful. Voice Tech. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, more Wayne Tech. Oh wait. Hang on. All right. Gotta appreciate that. Gotta pump that iron, brother. These are all bad. <laughs> These are bad, dude. Uh, what is that? Is that the umbrella? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it just, it's the same costume, just different colors. Banners, banners. 
Okay, the black and red. All right. You trying to win me over with the black? Okay, King Shark looks the best. I have the black and red looks. Oh, yeah. Uh, yawn. Yeah, oh, this battle pass sucks. <laughs> Not worth the money. I guess the black and red ones are okay, but that's because I love that color scheme, all right? Not everyone likes red. And then you got emotes, voice lines, and banners. Who cares? And people just talk about how shit Joker's look is. And if you want a more traditional, classic-looking Joker, you have to cough up more money for him to look like his sort of classic self. And <laughs> after buying Joker to go, thanks for your money, motherfucker. Here. Spend more money on the skins <laughs> and dumbass emotes. Okay. Okay, see that that's a that's a better that's a better skin. Like that's a better costume. It's simple, it's clean, it works. Well, I would have given you my money if your game's actually fucking good. If it's fun to play with. And I'm talking out of someone who played the game solo because I know my friends wouldn't want to play this piece of shit of a game. We just go and play Helldivers instead. And that's where my money's going to as well. It's going to Helldivers. And I just love it when Suicide Squad fans get jealous over Helldivers 2 success because it's a better game. You can make up any excuses on why Helldivers 2 is boring or it's the same kind of game or it plays the same. Well, the majority says otherwise, because most of us can tell the difference between a good game and a shitty one. All right, I'm going all over the place. So Joker, they told us that we can earn Joker for free. But then last minute they said, oh, well, you got to beat Brainiac to unlock Joker for free. Okay, cool. And then they say, but if you don't want to do that, you can also buy Joker. And then all of us scratching our heads. Okay, what's going on? What do we have to do to unlock Joker? So it turns out you have to increase your world level or rank whatever it is it's not even part of the battle pass to fight brainiac so you have to be level world 40 i believe or you can be 35 in a squad but each of your teammates have to be level 35 it's not just one of you to play it has to be every single player level 35 to fight brainiac giving you additional hours to grind to unlock the joker for free all players in the squad need to be at episode rank 35. Is that... No. Is this what this is? Is this my episode? Oh, did the game really just block me from getting Joker? Suck ass. And apparently there was a new mission, which, what was it? And it turns out to be the big cannon one that was in the open world. So they took that out and put it in the Elseworlds mission and call it something else. <laughs> Bravo. 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 I could not believe how lazy you could have done this. But anyways, not to get sidetracked. Joker. So how much does Joker cost? Because I ended up buying him anyways, because... No way in fuck I was gonna do that at all. And I don't even know if that was even worth it. Because he cost me 15 Australian dollars. Wait, let's check the store. Oh, that's how you unlock Joker. Not buying the premium battle pass. You scummy motherfuckers. You scummy motherfuckers. You what? Okay, I, I thought you had to buy the battle pass and you can get Joker, but no, that's separately. Are you, are you joking? <laughs> oh, okay, good news is we can play as Joker. Like, honest, honest to God, fuck all that noise doing all that chores to get Joker. I mean, that's, that's how the game w wants you to do it. I'll probably, for the sake of content, we have to do this. For the sake of content, I have to do this. 15 Australian dollars. And so, his gameplay is the same. He shoots the guns like every fucking else. His traverse was fun. He becomes a ragdoll when you boosted up the rocket umbrella thing. And flying around, hovering around, shooting enemies with the umbrella. Yeah, that's fun for a moment. But other than that, the skill trees still the same. Doesn't matter because damage, whatever. Numbers pop up. I, I, I even close the numbers because... It's just so obnoxious when the numbers pop out when you do damage to them. I don't- I don't care. All- all the enemies are bullet sponges. You know, it doesn't matter. 
And the new content, which is the loot, the scarecrow themed loot. And I think there's a two-faced one. I don't know. I don't care. Really? That... I don't care. It's like I said before, I, I don't care. I only care about the story, what happens next in the story. And we barely got anything with that. You just start off the game with this introduction of, oh, season one, fear, whatever it was called. Every time you log in the game, it does that sort of introduction. And I go, I don't care. Just let me play the game. Why are you introducing me this cinematic thing? The umpteenth time. I don't know if future updates sort of fix that unless Every time you log in, it introduces the season, which that would be pretty annoying. But yeah, just keep grinding for the Scarecrow themed weapons and also grind to get the battle pass, which someone has proved how long it would take to finish the battle pass, which is apparently 1500 missions. What? Originally, that's how it was until they patched it up. Apparently, it's a lot better. But still, what are you doing? Honestly, these guys really want to waste our time with this fucking mess of a game and this season goes for three months right yeah about three months and they expect us to play the same old missions over and over and over and over again fuck that i'd rather play the batman games i'd rather grind on call of duty which i did afterwards i pretty much grinded all the guns i wanted to use and also i spent a little bit of money because there was an execution i felt like i wanted to express my inner anger towards suicide squad get the fuck out of here <laughs> so I mentioned I care about the story. So what did they do? How did we end up in Joker's Earth? Doesn't explain because we're already here. Joker's here and everyone's reaction. Oh, another Joker. Okay. What? <laughs> Joker's the biggest deal in the DC universe. And they go, oh yeah, it's another Joker. Okay. Which one of you idiots wrote this? All 25 of you. Because I predicted correctly that Harley Quinn and Joker's interaction is non-existent. It's just going to be played as a joke or something like that. And it's true. Harley Quinn just makes a remark about, oh, you know, I'm over those kinds of guys. How? Hell no. Been there, done that, got the scars, did some healing. I'm not into that type anymore. Maladaptive narcissist? Comedians. I will send you to Jesus. That's it. They don't actually interact at all. That's it. That That's the thing that some fans of the game were excited to see. And I knew better that they weren't going to do shit. And I was right. And I know a certain part of the fandom are going to point their fingers out. Sweet baby. Sweet baby destroys everything they touch. All right, listen here. Yes, yeah, sweet baby. They suck. Okay. Sometimes they're not the only reason why a game sucks. Sometimes a game sucks because the gameplay is shit. And also when they become live service, they pick the worst case scenario for them to release this kind of live service not like when Helldivers 2 did in other words everyone's to blame here not just Sweet Baby Inc all right because Rocksteady wanted to kill the Justice League Sweet Baby just put on the banter and certain other things that happen in the story and the new map the new arena that we get to fight in is just Metropolis covered in presence wow you couldn't implement maybe presence doing random stat changes or effects to your character if you open them up or even use as throwable objects like bombs you know the joker is very unpredictable a lot of his ga gadgets and gizmos could cause explosions or laughable gas i don't know something to interact with the environment but no we just got a skin that's it just a new coat of paint that's all we did you guys delayed this game for a year to patch things up and apparently you needed to make sure that season one was ready to go that's why it took them that long to release it this far late into march what did you do i see nothing new you added in but a new character and a new skin of a map but we got more garbage in the store which literally what the characters are wearing are just garbage versions of the justice league costumes and here i thought where the budget league couldn't get even more worse but I have to... Oh. Uh, so it's all this new garbage? Okay. <laughs> Just so... <laughs> and I thought the budget league wasn't worse enough. I know we're getting a second part of this season. But what are we getting? I don't know. Just another Brainiac fight of a reskin of a boss we already fought in the past. Since in this part it was Green Lantern. Now the second part is Superman. Including this world's Joker. Let's say, his evil shall not escape my sight.
You're running out of leaguers to copy and paste, Rocksteady. Now it's time to actually make some original forms for Brainiac to fight. I'll be surprised if we get Deathstroke, which, honest to God, just bring Deathstroke. I, I don't care. I don't give a shit about Mrs. Freeze. I don't give a shit about Deadshot's daughter. You gotta bring in the big guns, not stuff that we care very little about, because I doubt that people come back for alternate versions of characters that we don't care about. It is now official that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is the worst game of 2024. Like, I, I don't think anything can top this. This is just garbage tier. And I'll get the tequila shots ready once they announce that the game is shutting down. Basically, no one else has a better idea. So fuck it. <sighs> That's much better. I am done. What do you guys think about Suicide Squad? Do you think it's going to shut down? Do you enjoy the Season 1 update? Are you excited for the second part of Season 1? I'm sure as am not. Comment down below and let me know. And I appreciate you guys enduring this rant because I'm pretty sure I'm going to suffer a lot more this year. I've been thinking to do a breakdown for the Flash movie because I have not seen it till this day. And also, I am going to suffer through the Acolyte, unfortunately. But I do have plans to maybe prepare myself with the show by buying its comic books because, again, novels are a bit of a long read for me. Can you do me a favor and just read this out loud? And I'd be like, yeah, Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. But who knows? I'm just throwing ideas out there. But I appreciate you guys listening all the way, and I hope you guys subscribe. But like I said, this is the last Suicide Squad video I'm going to make because I am done with this game. Fuck this game to oblivion. And for that, I wish you guys a good day or a good night. Ciao.